Yeah. But without further ado, we have a we have a special guest we joining do. us today. Yes. Shall I do the introductions? Yes, do it, man. All right. His name's Tim. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole. <laughs> no. All right. So okay. So one one uh, yeah. So our guest today is his name is Tim, uh, Tim Badalak, and he is someone who's been working with Coffee Stain. Um, Specifically, Coffee Stain Publishing, but then has been working with us basically on Satisfactory, almost like I think almost exclusive. Hmm. I don't know. We'll find out when we talk to him because I don't know what he really did. But he worked <laughs> a lot with me uh, uh, on the community side of things. So um, the, one of the he's he's leaving Coffee Stain, so that's sad. So that time, um, let's make sure to shame him real hard when he shows up. On stream. Yep. No, he's leaving. And so, but but it, I, I I want him to meet you all because. Um, he never wanted to be public facing. He never wanted to be in front of a camera or anything like that. But like everything that has happened within our community, Tim has been involved in as well. So it's, I think it would be a shame for him to leave without you guys getting to meet him. So I think without further ado, let us. Uh, why is he leaving? Because we don't pay him enough. That's why. Yeah, that's what the problem right, is. So let's uh, let's bring in Tim. Welcome, Tim, Mr. Yay. Tim Badilak. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to this badness. <laughs> F's in the chat for Tim. <laughs> Everyone say hello to Tim, Justin Timbaland. Uh, oh yeah, Mr. how many how many nicknames uh, do you Tim have? Mr. Blake, just just Tim Timberlake. Uh, we got a lot of F's in the chat for Tim. <laughs> yes, yes. So <laughs> Tim's sitting there like only one more hour of Jace. <laughs> just one more hour. Yeah, I can endure this. It's like getting stretch. a shot. <laughs> Yeah, the final stretch. Yeah, thanks yeah, for having yeah. me on. Super nice. No, uh, thank you, thank you so much. Like I, I mean it. Like I, I really appreciate you coming on because I know you, you really, like I, I tried to get you in videos a lot over the years, <laughs> and uh, you never wanted to, but uh, and, and that's fine. But I'm, I really appreciate that you, yeah. you still came on today. I was afraid you were going to bail, but you yeah. did. Thank you. So, so speaking yeah, of that, your first stream ever. So I'm. Uh, yeah. This is your first stream ever. Yeah, yeah. Right. This is my a special moment, ever. everyone. We'll Popping that cherry. It's very weird talking to a wall. Yeah, yeah. you're used to it. You're talking to us. You get used to it. Yeah. So so yeah, let's let's do a little bit of like highlight reel here for for Tim. Like oh yes, yeah. so you put together a highlight reel. Yeah. So yeah. I put together a highlight reel of all the great moments we've had with Tim because Tim has been there all the time. Um, but we also want to kind of highlight some of the nice memories we have with Tim. So here we go. You're American, right? No. You're not American. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, just a bee story. Me. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, been a bit of been a fun like two years or something, Tim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only managed to capture you once. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look like an idiot shaving you for not being American. <laughs> You're Australian? Yeah. yeah. No, but like Tim's been in the background like all the time. Like yeah. you've you've been pulling the stream strings, if anything. Um, yeah, the the mastermind. It's all downhill from here, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um so like <sighs> What's up? <laughs> what's what's like so like we'll we'll see. I've got some questions here, you know, to drive the conversation because I'm a professional. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, what, what, what did you do exactly? Because I know, I know what you <laughs> did. No, because I know what we did. But why were you even working with me at all? Like, what, what do you do? Right. Yeah, like it started with me. I guess I was part of founding like the publishing arm of of Coffee Stand, so I started working with. Like, uh, I come from development, I worked as a 3D artist in some AAA games, and uh, uh, yeah, we started the, the publishing thing at Coffee Stain, and uh, I focused, like, my first year I focused on helping, like, getting Deep Rock Galactic on the game you, you were talking shit about before. Yeah, they're 11. Yeah, or maybe every stream, yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh, helping them get out on early access. Um, and then after that, I kind of joined Satisfactory. And it, it started with Anton asking me to kind of like, uh, like Anton, the CEO, like uh, maybe you should look at the art production uh, or help help out looking at what, what you're producing. Or like see if there's anything we can do to make things go better. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. 
yeah, kind of started there. And then uh, suddenly, a couple of months later, I, I think I became the like, or one of the producers of the game, I think. Uh, that's one of the reasons I didn't really want to take spotlights as well is it's been a very weird role. I was I've been a I've been a fixer, uh, but it wasn't ever the intention for me to to stay uh, to yeah. stay like in the development team. So it felt uh, strange. But then you ended up staying almost like were Two you years. like yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> a temporary fixer helper yeah. yeah. <laughs> fixer in chat look if i see as a yard very nice it's funny because like one of my first memories of tim was before i even know who you were because <clears throat> when i when i got interviewed for the job i was talking oh. to another producer <laughs> and then i remember i was talking to jace in between before i said yes or something and then i'm like i, I think i'm gonna i'm thinking i'm gonna join coffee stain like and then i heard that oh she's not working here anymore i'm like Wait, what the fuck? Who's going to be producer? And I asked Jace, like, who's going to be producing? Jace like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Some dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Turned out turned out to be a, a stand-up guy. Yeah. Tim. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, I mean, to be uh, clear, I, I worked very closely with Birk uh, as well. Yeah. Birk. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Birk. Birk. Sure. I say Birk. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nobody knows. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, because because you you jumped on when was it for the reveal trailer or did you jump on before the reveal trailer? It was kind of before that. Uh, it was a strange time when um, I think there was a lot of division, like in terms of what to do with the game. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure from your point of view, but for some people, it was a bit of a rut uh, at the time in development. Like it it, hap it happens yeah. quite naturally in some games, like <clears throat> that you you work on it for so long and you can't really see the the end of it uh, and i came in as like a fresh pair of eyes with a new perspective on it uh, so i, I kind of like uh, i think at the time we planned to do uh, like a full release uh, the next six six months or something from when i joined and i kind of convinced people surely but slowly that uh, there were some people that thought that that should be the f case in the beginning that we should do like early access and we should yeah uh, <coughs> And I really believed in, in, in that, so I latched onto that and talked to people and kind of, uh, yeah, kind of recruited people on, on that bandwagon. Uh, then yeah. we decided to do like, yeah, we should do early access. And then uh, we got an opportunity to like, oh shit, we can do an E3 thing. Do we want to do that? And then like, yes. Yeah. Uh, so we had like six weeks uh, to, to kind of come up with the, the reveal trailer, which was kind of stressful, but yeah. You only had six weeks? Is that how quickly you guys did it? I'm pretty sure. Uh, I can look back at it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's around That's six crazy. weeks. That's crazy. That's really yeah. quick. Uh, yeah. Which is kind of like because a lot of people were deep in development, and it was not a lot of people that thought about like marketing stuff, and, like how to how how we're actually gonna communicate what this <clears throat> this game is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, by the way, I don't know if you knew this, but a couple months ago that trailer hit one million views. Yeah, I saw. I saw. I look at it every morning. Every yeah. morning, it's it's Tim driving. <laughs> you watched you, it so. a million times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Probably. I mean, <laughs> you must have like while working on it. Feels like. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's one of the weird things as well. I've been I've been doing. Uh, it's like a producer. It's it's a it's been a weird role in 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 Coffee Stain because it's mm. been yeah like I said doing a lot of things uh, different things. I think. Uh, trailer making has probably been one of the most fun times. Uh, you, you found that to be fun? I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I mean, it was extremely stressful and yeah, exactly. late, yeah. late nights, but I think the uh, the, pe the people that were in the, like, making the trailers together and, I don't know, was a special and, special and bond. They they worked out really well because, so this is, this is one of those things, you guys, that I wanted to, uh, you know, you guys need to meet Tim for is because people say a lot of really good things about our trailers. We get a lot of love for them, and they're great, right? Uh, I, especially <laughs> me, I, I love them when I you first see them. them. <laughs> so th th there is there is actually there is actually this thing where every time Tim shows me a trailer, I don't like it. Like genuinely, I hate every single one of the trailers that he shows me, and then I'm wrong 100% of the time, uh, objectively. Uh, yeah, but um, but yeah, Tim Tim is like one of the the biggest like driving forces of those because you're essentially what were you basically the director of each trailer, I suppose. Uh, I would say more like spider in the webs 
it's been a definitely a, a group effort. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. So you know, uh, of course, there's like if you take one of many, any, you know, we need everyone on board. But like, what I'm trying to say is, Tim played a really huge part. Like, like, I, I, I don't know how to sort of convey that the trailers are what the, they are. Um, so, like, so this because of this you, trailer, but because of many example, people, but but like you played a huge part, basically. Yeah. Thanks. I, I like this trailer. If it's the like the flying jetpack trailer, yeah. I don't know even what it's called. Like the, yeah. That that was actually uh, th that was a completely different tra trailer. And then we cut it, and we I did a quick recut at like one thirty in the morning, and then showed the team like, shouldn't we do this? And they're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> what did Jay say? <laughs> he hated it. Of course, he hated it. No, we yeah. didn't even consult you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, at this point, I, 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 I admit yeah. that bit defeat. Yeah, yeah I admit Just defeat. so people know that there's a cut version of that trailer. Are you saying that we should, we should leak that? Drive. We should leak that. I'm just saying. Is that, just is that saying. what you're saying? Yeah. <clears throat> I like how Tim, like, as he exits the company, his last horizon just <laughs> dump all of our, like... He just sent me a link, <laughs> like, check this hard drive out, or, like, this yeah. link. Is that the... Yeah. Uh... It comes from a, an email address, not Tim at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I wonder who this is from. Saddest Gate, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah. It sounded like I was going to say something there, but I just wanted to agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's um that's something that uh, I've uh, I've wondered a lot about is, um, yeah like you know because because you're always there till late at work, right? And we're always like we're not supposed to do overtime, but you guys. But then every time I go to the office at night, like maybe I'm not drinking and I go to pick up my bag from the office, Tim's there, at the office, and he's either just working or playing games. Why would you always do that, Tim? Why are you shaming me? I was going to say, like, is this a shaming moment? Uh, just asking. I mean, like, I, I actually enjoyed it a lot. I, yeah. uh, it's like, um, like, we don't do overtime or crunch. Sometimes it happens, uh, of course. Like, it's, it's hard to completely avoid. Like, when if people are dependent on you or they're expecting something and uh, for them to be able to make their deadline or whatever, it, it can... Put a lot of pressure on people and it, it happens time to time but i don't know for me it was uh, uh like i was working on the on the on the on the game in terms of working with all the different teams uh like reviewing stuff uh, that was done in the game and helping to define things we needed to do uh okay. and then the trailer stuff and a lot of the trailer stuff was after hours uh because I don't know how to make trailers. I just did it all night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by my door closing. That's fine. Classic. <clears throat> Can you take... Go, <laughs> oh my, Jay my didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no sure. I got... Yeah, we're we're kind of used to this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sure. All right. Yeah. Fine. It's it's, it's amazing so because I was doing some kind of behind the scenes stuff too, so I also missed the last part. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so yeah, so what are you I'm doing here, Tim? No, yeah. um, I I feel the same way because like I used to do that as well at um, my my previous appointment where we me and Dylan would used to have, like hang out as late as we could and play games. Yeah. Um, uh, it was weird though. Like it was it, it was uh, at a point, Tim, where if I ever went. To the office outside of hours, I knew you'd be there, and so, yeah, that was busy. Yeah, that was busy. Yeah. So one really funny anecdote, though, is I have I have like a I'm scared of like turning on the alarm when I leave, so I try to never be the last person at the office, which is really like it's easy for me because I do the commuting thing, so I, I'm never there late. But sometimes if we're like doing like if I'm a club day and we're having like a party or something, I'll legit like oh shit, I need to go back to the office. I'll legit like. Tim, can you go with the off? Can you go with me to the office and, and oh my God. turn off the alarm? <laughs> Every wow. single time he's done it. Wow, such a sweetheart. But wow. uh, do I remember correctly that I've put the alarm on top of you, Jace? If that's how you would say it. 
Uh, that's I think I, no, that's I think not how I, you would say it. You would say no. you you set the alarm what, like while I was there. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yes. That. You have. Yeah. Done that I know it. Yeah. it was fucking loud. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> that was really funny. Yeah. Um. Tim is the standout producer. No one knows he's there, but his impacts can be seen. Absolutely. Yeah, that's definitely the case. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Um, so let's see here. Uh, but I mean, if we're talking about trailers, should we talk about the Update 3 trailer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, we should talk about that. So <clears throat> Because that's legendary. Well, <clears throat> yeah, it is. It is. I actually the liked that trailer when I saw it. The oh, you did? Injury. Is that the first yeah. one? I think that was the only one that I've liked. <laughs> um, they all grew on me, by the way, guys. All right? I like them all now. But I didn't at the beginning. But, um, yeah, okay, so... Yeah, what, what was... Okay, well, yeah, what was it like, basically, making working on that trailer with the... Um, <clears throat> I suppose, you know, the the meme was, was armed and at the ready, you know? The pipes meme. Right. Uh, yeah, that was that was a weird time. Um, it was a lot of pressure on everyone, I think, because uh, we decided to to make uh, the update three secret because of the pipes meme. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it felt pretty like from a concept making the trailer was it was kind of smooth in in terms of uh like we decided quite quickly on on the direction together with like the the group of people the christopher the animator and joachim the art director at the time and uh yeah and, and the yeah the main part was like how could we make pipes into something extremely awesome and we were looking at a bunch of reference material and at yeah at some point we we figured out that uh, what if we make pipes into kind of a superhero thing? And what if we make this into the most hypey type trail we've ever done? Uh, a lot of inspiration from like the Smash Bros announcement, like this segment especially. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it's like a, some some subtle references uh, or <laughs> subtle. things we stole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go. Uh, <laughs> Subtle uh, reference. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I think this turned out great. It's it awesome to work on. Uh, yeah, it was uh, so fun. And that we had a really hard, hard. time coming up with the uh, the last uh, like the actual reveal. And I was watching at the the Crown, uh, the Netflix series, and the intro yeah. had this kind of weird shape of the crown going like growing like this shot here. It's or like the pipe reveal. Yeah, that's 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 what I stole from <laughs> from, ah. from, from that intro. Like when the crown is being shaped, we call it the like the pipe Cthulhu. But yeah, like it's it's yeah. coming from another dimension, and we uh, yeah. Cool. But I think like one little Easter egg that people I don't think people have seen is uh, something in the something in the visor. I'm not sure if people have seen that. Oh really? Is there something in the visor? Wait. Yeah. Wait, I haven't heard this. Let's yeah. not. I don't think we should reveal I'm not, it. I'm not, yeah. Yeah. Well, in some shots, there's something in the visor. I don't know. Interesting. Ah. Oh. Um. So, so like, do you do you remember where you were when we revealed it? Oh yeah, I was sitting uh, together with uh, Johannes, the studio manager at the time. Uh, that was uh, that was fucking amazing. That was probably one of the highlights. Was because we worked so hard on that, uh, yeah. and the funny thing, me and Christopher, that was like doing the final cuts and edits of it. Uh, we wanted to cut it, like we felt we felt like it was so shit because we worked so hard on it, and at some point, oh, everything weird. just looks like shit. Right, and right. like this Sunday night, we were doing the final render, and we did it like a test showing to Mark and, and G two on the team, and they were like, they were so silent, so we were like, we were oh, doubting no, ourselves that's the so worst. much. Yeah. And uh, but Mark seemed to be blown away, and G two is kind of a silent man. He, uh, he said like person. good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he said like good stuff. I was like, yeah. okay, how do we interpret this? Yeah. 
but uh, then we talked ourselves out of it that we we can't we can't cut this. We need to show it to the team, yeah. And we need to have something for that Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was good, and the reaction was crazy. Yeah, like so. Snoop put the uh, yeah. He's got the chat reaction there. Yeah. Uh, that was that was bonkers. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was like it was such a good moment. That was probably I would say maybe the highlight of my that or the first launch. Uh, and actually, we could talk about that then. What was it? Um, so okay, you because you're on the publishing side of things. One thing we can sort of talk about is uh, obviously you know there's the you know when when a game is launched, you never know what people are going to think. But you're on the publishing side of things, so you're also like somewhat ingrained into I guess the business side of things too. Um, and that was also at a time when we really uh, re released on Epic exclusive uh, exclusively. So, yeah. how did you feel within that big uh, mess of a situation and that release? What, what was it like for you when we finally released the game? And you mean on Steam or on Epic? Like when on, on Epic, the, the very first time, the right? Very first time, yeah. I mean, it's that whole situation was a bit weird. I think, like, as developers, we we see Epic in an extremely positive light. Uh, I think especially Kofferstein and Kofferstein's history. Uh, so we were kind of weirded out about all the negative comments about exclusivity. Like, because when, when we made that... Um, when we made that deal, we felt like we've secured, like, we're going to be able to make the game we want to make, no matter what. And that, that was, like, the priority. Yeah. Uh, I think, um, yeah. So it it, it kind of took me by surprise, at least, which feels like I'm a, that maybe we're a little bit out of touch of the uh, what people thought. But at the same time, I think it was it was it was good for the game. Uh, it was yeah. good for the team, and uh, in the end, we we listened and uh, we we went out on Steam. So yeah, yeah. So, so it was a weird time, but it was uh, awesome to yeah. launch it. And, and the whole like nine copies meme was kind of funny. <laughs> uh, I remember, uh, I remember uh, like uh, someone from Epic emailing me and saying like, "Ah, oh, there's a rumor. There's a rumor that you only sold one like nine copies. Uh, shouldn't you uh, tell them otherwise?" And we were like, uh, "I was like, ah, oh, shit." Uh, but then. Uh, uh, I think there was, yeah, there was another guy at Epic that was like, uh, responded uh, pretty quickly on that and said like, ah, uh, oh, that's just uh, coffee stain. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's like, ah, oh, all right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah just do what I think. Um, but like, wh wh at what point did you realize, because I mean, the, it, it was very successful, like on our launch. And at what point did you realize that it was successful because before the game comes out like you can never really know as a game developer like you can you can make a good game and no one buys it right uh you can make a shit game and people do buy it as you can see with our game um but at what point yeah. did you realize wait this is actually going to work out you know um i think it was the i think it was the alpha weekend I think we gave out all the keys to everyone that signed up and yeah. let people stream. Uh, until that point, I didn't really know how it's how it was going to go. Uh, yeah. But, but I think at, at that point, it was like, OK, nice. We made a good game. That's that's so scary, fun. huh? Like, because we, yeah. we worked like what, like three years at, at that point on the game or something like that. And it wasn't until then that we actually knew, oh, people will actually buy it. And we'll actually recoup the money we spent and hopefully make a profit so we can keep functioning as a company. Like, yeah, that's quite yeah, a leap of faith. Yeah, it is for sure. I think uh, it definitely helped doing like the closed alpha and uh, like getting people's like the the, feed, the amount of feedback we got. Uh, it was uh, really good. Yeah. I think we like those those couple of months where we had the closed alpha was really valuable to kind of making sure that the like our intentions with the game came through when we actually launched uh, 
but yeah, there, there's some stuff that I wish we had. Like, of course, uh, like the we felt a little bit shitty uh, when we like we didn't think the trains were were like good enough or they weren't working. Uh, hmm. uh, but we launched anyways, even though we we showed them before and stuff. But uh, we tried our hardest to get them those the, the things that we kind of promised as yeah out as fast as possible in a you know case states. But we still have a lot of work to do or like you guys have i don't know <laughs> well i don't yeah. no <laughs> i just made i just made youtube videos yeah we just uh make shitty content yeah yeah, yeah. um no but uh yeah it was uh amazing the the best thing i've ever done is is definitely like helping uh coffee stand with satisfactory uh, for sure yeah well that's good i think it's uh helped us a lot I think so too. Yes, I concur. Hey. <laughs> like most humans do. No, we, yeah, we're, we're lucky. Yeah. Like, I yeah, because uh, you had your hand in a lot of different things, and you made a difference in many different areas of development. So, it's pretty bonkers, actually, how much you know about like literally every aspect of game development, <laughs> so yeah. that you can go everywhere and actually have meaningful input in literally every part of the team. Uh, it's kind of bonkers, actually. <clears throat> um. So another thing that looking at my questions here so here's something okay um so when we started working together doing things we had different approaches as to how we would want to do things publicly tim you and i yeah we had we had differences you're talking community management now right or anything public facing so oh, so yeah so tim tim wasn't like a community manager like you know like you're kind of like a producer right but you were also like with the publishing team so you're kind of like the publisher as well and you know and then as a and then i'm a community manager who wants to do my community management my way i want it my way <laughs> and then tim's gonna come in and deal with shit um but we had very different approaches i think in the beginning but i think uh and we sort of butt heads a lot in the beginning mm. but then we and then we we didn't and it worked out really well i think i, I think we uh, yeah sorry yeah, no. no go on go on uh yeah i think we proved to each other like our different i don't know different ways of doing things when when they work and when they don't so, so i think we yeah, figured it out yeah. together we just came I, from different places yeah yeah i agree i think it was sort of like a like a trust thing you know we we mm -hmm. we filled two different voids um <laughs> like two different spaces of of how you can do things and we just had to trust each other that the other person really did know what they were doing um uh, and that it was effective um most some of the times so that you know like when we came to each other that we could actually reel each other in kind of thing um i think that was pretty good but yeah like after that it became really easy because i think your your perspective was really valuable like like everything that you knew were big areas that i didn't know so it was super nice having your input and then uh my willingness to just do whatever even if it's in the public eye I think yeah. also helped a lot as well. Like, yeah, like I sure. was always, I was always willing to be like, if people get mad at us for this, that's okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I think you, you helped me, uh, you helped me see, Jace. Oh. Yeah. Open your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Jace feels a void ASMR. Yeah. Dirty. Yeah. Um, no, I, no, I think like you, you really helped me. You, you really helped me see that like uh, that entertaining is the most important thing. Uh, I'm not sure if you agree, but, but <laughs> that, 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 that's at least my takeaway from it. That it's like, uh, like uh, you want to be part of this community if it's fun to be part of the community. Like if we're mm. if we're too try hard and if we if if we take everything too seriously, uh, it's not that fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, I, I, but I, the thing is, I, I was really lucky though, that it was, that I got to work with, with you on it though, because I know that it's, I think it's so, so much easier, but it, that, this is the whole p uh, publishing side of coffee stain in general, actually, is you guys are, you guys do not fit what, um, your, your, what, if you were to imagine your typical publisher or publishing person, you guys don't fit that. Like you guys are just you're just like normal people with who are like really funny and are willing to do stupid things whereas i think a lot of other um 
publishers or not just necessarily publishers but business people or whatever would be too want to be too safe i guess um yeah i i think the the publishing team is 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 great uh at coffee stain like it's a it's a group of game developers that uh don't want to like yeah they want to focus on the the business and and uh like the aspect of making more games in the future yeah uh, like helping others making games as well so I don't know. It it doesn't come. It's it's quite natural when it's not a group of people with suits or whatever. Like it's um, it's actually developers and people that play games that uh, want to make more games. Yeah, it's good shit. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, I want to talk to you about uh, the alpha key release period. Uh, about? And also like Simon Saga. So, uh, what 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 was your memory of that time like? Like, what do you? Uh, my memory of that is that that we or like some of us felt that it was too early to show certain stuff up from the game, and that we wanted to work more on it. Um, and. We basically blocked you. Like we 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 basically took away all your content <laughs> and said make content. Yeah. <laughs> like we yep. made this empty space, uh, which where where you kind of maybe were expecting that we would show more stuff, but and maybe we were too, but we're kind of like uh, being paranoid about it in the beginning. Uh, uh, for better or worse, uh, yeah, that's that's how I remember it. Yeah, was that and where the uh, Simon Saga thing was born from? The fact that we couldn't show in-game stuff, or no, no. So Simon Saga came from the fact that we had a large following on YouTube already from Goat Simulator, right? So when when I took over as community manager, we had like forty-five thousand subs on YouTube or something like that. Um, and so I thought, well, if we're going to be putting out news online, I want to, I want to do it. Like, if we're going to give keys out, I want to do it where we have everyone. So that's going to be all the social media platforms, but including YouTube. And in, in, at that time, in order to do that, you would have to make a video. Um, I don't think they had the community posts. But even if they did, like, I'd still want to do that in a big way where everyone on YouTube who subscribed to us can see it. So that's why I thought, well, I'm going to make videos uh, for the alpha keys, but. Uh, I also had to remember that we had to do them quickly because there's the rest of my job that I had to do as well. Um, so the Simon Sagas were supposed to be these really quick question, uh, quick videos. Um, and that's why there was sort of, you know, we worked within this. <laughs> I was just watching stream. God damn yeah. it, Simon. There's RuneScape in the background. Yeah. And we had, to, we had to work within a very small time period to try and uh, get, it, get it done. So that's where Simon Saga came from. That's um, beautiful. And I would I remember like every Monday morning, Tim, is it Monday mornings we would have our meetings? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we would just be talking about like, how many keys are we going to give away? What you know, ideas of the Simon Saga, and then we all also had the second video, which would be like the Wednesday content or whatever that we would put out as well. So it was like every Monday morning. That's kind of how it would be, or something like that. Yeah, it's an amazing production. You should uh, uh, sell it on DVD. <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> the DVD, DVD box set. Oh, wow. Simon Saga, one DVD per video. <laughs> <laughs> put it on. Put it on CD ROM. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. Fix it. No, I love it. I love. I love how like uh, those weird constraints kind of let you that you guys were so uh, absolutely creative with it and uh, did something. Absolutely unique. Oh, there's yeah. Mark. Awesome. Oh, they can't see it. Right? Yeah. I I kind of derailed the the question though. No, that's fine. Yeah. I'm uh, my brain's a little frazzled, so I'm I'm struggling here a little bit. But uh, <laughs> hey, Mark. Mark survived. Mark's the only survivor of yeah. Simon Saga. <laughs> okay. So what is your what is your favorite moment? Wow. Uh, in in life, you know, in coffee stain. Mm. Um, 
I don't know, I think even with all the ups and downs, I think one of the strongest is probably going to be releasing update 3 trailer. I think the, the first E3 trailer was similar, but we were kind of out of the blue. We were super happy that people got what we were doing and what we wanted to do with the game. Uh, and that people got hyped for it. But I think that in the end, update 3 felt like this present to... like. Uh, yeah, to our community, like, or to to everyone that was interested and, like, hyped yeah. about what Update 3 would be. And it felt like even if some people would uh, saw it coming, I, I don't think the people expected us to, to push that hard. No. Uh, so I, I, that's probably going to be my favorite moment. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I think so as well. It's like, it's either that or, like, I have another pretty particular experience of when when we actually launched the game um i uh, know when we revealed the game rather uh that was probably my other big thing where discord flooded and shit like that mm. um but but yeah apart from that it would probably be update three um and that really was an update and and even a tra even the trailer itself right the, the trailer was was not targeted at new people it was targeted to like you people who are watching right now it was a it was a weird like the whole update and trailer was was straight back to the community basically. It was geared towards existing community, um, which is cool. Where does the dog go? Yeah, this is not the, this is not the reveal trailer, but this yeah. is uh, the one before. Right. Before everyone but this knew. one, uh, I was actually not involved in at all. This was this is uh, me. I did this one. Yeah, you did this one. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good at animating, Jace. No, I didn't see <laughs> the animation. Yeah. yeah. But it was, uh, yeah, I like this one too. This is where Lizard Dog got his name. Yeah. The the in house name for Lizard Dog is still like Shrimpy. Yeah. In yeah. The... Space Shrimp or something. Yeah, shrimpy. Space Shrimp. Okay, so what, what do you mean by farewell to Tim? So Tim is leaving you guys, or Tim has left. He's gone. Yeah, not... He doesn't He's exist gone. Yeah, anymore. I've already left. Yeah, yeah, as of like last week or something He's, like he's that. dead to me. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> bye, say bye to Tim. Yeah, your your autofocus is like next level, Tim. By the way, it's going back and forth. Is there a way yeah. to like uh, lock the focus on your webcam or something? I don't know. I think it's part of this. All right, yeah. Who cares? All right. Anyway, yeah, this is perfect. This you is know, part of the you know what you tune in for, chat. Okay. This is the Tim experience. Yeah. yeah. All right. So so what was the worst moment, Tim? Oof. Every Monday, <laughs> Jason. Oh, that's really hard. Um, that's what she. Mm. I I think that I don't know. I I can't really think of anything. I'm a, I'm a generally a very positive guy for for better or worse. I, I have a hard time remembering, like ah, oh, this was a really shitty moment. Uh, oh, sorry, I played the fifth. The yeah. answer is playing working with Jace. Yeah, ah, she's yeah. working with Jace. Yeah. Opportunity for jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I take things too seriously. That's my problem. Yeah. We didn't. We, this isn't an interview where we're asking for your. You know, what's your biggest weakness? My weakness <laughs> is that I work too. Oh hard. Yeah. yeah, dude, I love that. <laughs> yeah. I wanna, yeah. I'm such a perfectionist. Yeah, I try too much. I just, I just want, try too much. I want everything. My to be weakness perfect. is that I overachieve. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> Someone uh, saying grandpappy Tim Daddy Lack. You gotta call him Daddy Lack. Daddy Lack. Oh, yeah. Tim Daddy Lack. Yeah. Um, if Tim is leaving, you have a new producer coming in or someone moving up. So Tim has been uh, producing, uh, been a producer alongside of Burke, who's you know been there the whole time as well. So it's mm -hmm. been the two of them. Um, but we also got another our QA manager, Uzu, uh, is also now a producer um, slash. QA manager. So, yes. Yeah, I, and I think uh, like uh, including update three. <laughs> Sorry, there's a comment here. Oh, My yeah. weakness is that I have a short temper with colleagues. That's just <laughs> that's a pretty that's that's too real. <laughs> yeah, sorry, go on. Man. I don't know what I was talking about. Something about uh, oh yeah, Mark, the the game director. I think. Yeah. He, it's like they're doing an awesome job. Yeah, yeah I think one one important thing to note out is like whenever, pe maybe pe may when people maybe see like, oh, this person's leaving or whatever. Like this is this is commonplace at any game dev job, really. Like, op like 
uh, what's the word? The thing that you take care of. Uh, what? Responsibility. My God, right. my brain was like, <laughs> like responsibility yes, yes. shift, like nonstop. Uh, and that's no yeah. different at Coffee Stain. So like, even if like, th there's already been a bunch of changes at Coffee Stain while we were working on Satisfactory, which probably people haven't noticed even. Like me and you, Snoot. Yeah, well. We were programmers and we're not anymore. Yeah. What a shame. Okay, that's a, well, maybe a something shame. that people noticed was worse. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> 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 so this is like, it's all part of, part of life. Yeah. Tim looks like the kind of guy that's going places. There yeah, are from Zion War. Very nice. Um, Places. Okay, so what other things were you involved with? So you helped out with Deep Rock, you said. Yep. Did you do anything else? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. That he can talk about, I guess. Is that he can talk about. Yeah, I guess maybe not. No, but uh, yeah, from like uh, 2018, I was the, like the CEO of publishing as well. So I was involved in in everything we did on the publishing side as well even though at the time it was a it was a weird period where i was focusing mainly on satisfactory uh, but uh, but you're yeah, also doing been, publishing stuff for everything else at the same time yeah yeah uh, but of course we've been like a, a team and uh, like for every every project we've had like a producer type person uh, from like the coffee stain side that's been uh, involved uh, in uh, in making the games and and ever since I focused on on Satisfactory Albert who's the the new CEO he, he focused on uh, on Deep Rock Galactic like post early access uh, launch uh, but yeah Ghost Ship Games uh, is a really awesome awesome crew yeah they're right. Um, <laughs> Check them out. They're also in the top 10 of the <laughs> 2020 Steam release games. Yeah. Best rated. Yeah. They're actually 1% better than us. What yeah, I saw on Steam. Right. You, don't have to, you yeah. don't have to go there, dude. Oh. You, we could have just left. You could have left it there, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Does it work yeah. here anymore? Just like, gonna shame yeah. us. Yeah. Just drag us through the, the dirt. Way. Oh my god. Um, yes. Yeah, this is update 4. Update 4 is Tim's leaving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a I think everyone will update. appreciate that. Everyone no. liked that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm. 